Hey everybody, my name is Jared and I am a Master Mason in the state of Mississippi in the United States of America. And this is the Masonic Roundtable pin, which was done up by Edgar Alejandro over at Masonic Revival. So if you go to his website and you recognize the high quality of his work, but you don't quite see what you're looking for, or you need a pin for your lodge, your grand lodge, or your organization, then check him out. He'll do custom things as well, so don't just get stuck looking at what's on the website. So today's viewer's question is, can you always tell if someone else is a mason outside of the lodge? Absolutely not. No, <laughs> you cannot, and there's several reasons why. Uh, number one, I'm just going to come right out of the gates with it. We're all trying to improve ourselves. We did not say that we had figured it all out. So even outside of the lodge, uh, you can find a brother, myself included, that might behave in a way that makes you go, I thought he was a mason. Now, we all like to think that we're getting past those things, and, and I certainly hope I am, and I hope all of you are. But the fact of the matter is, we're trying. We're trying to be the ideal that we hold up inside of ourselves. We're trying to constantly look inside of ourselves and see what we can do better and judge ourselves and see if we're really meeting the standard we've set for ourselves. So no, I don't think that you can always tell. Second, a man could be a mason and have no insignia on him whatsoever to signify it. Nothing on his car, nothing on his person, no rings, no watches, no big emblems on a shirt, and walk around all day long and be the best mason that you could have ever met, but you just didn't know. So, no. Third, you could walk up and see somebody with a ring and a big thing on his shirt and a sticker on the back of his car and guess what he could have bought it all off Amazon and not be a mason whatsoever so no between those three things no you cannot know if somebody is a mason outside of the lodge just by seeing them now are there ways to identify him yeah there absolutely are uh, so I'll give you a case in point I was at a hotel here in town was eating breakfast at a at a hotel in town and saw a man who had a masonic ring on i have no clue if he was actually a freemason i have no real reason to doubt that he was but i when i was done eating my meal before we left i went over and i shook his hand and i said hey brother i saw your ring uh good to see you i hope everything's doing well sorry to bother your breakfast i'll let you go i just wanted to say hello and I walked away. He has no idea if I really was a Mason. I have no idea if he really was a Mason. But there are ways for us to have discovered that. We could have gone into a private place and we could have used what are called generally the modes of recognition. And we could have determined that he really is and I really am. We also both probably had on us our dues card from our lodges. So I could have showed him my dues card that says what lodge I'm at and how much I paid to be a member and when it's good to. And it would have had the secretary's signature with his uh, seal or embosser uh, on top of his signature. And he could have looked at that and said, yeah, looks real to me. We could have called each other's Grand Lodge and said, hey, I'm sitting here with John Smith and he says he's a Master Mason and I'm trying to check that he is before we start talking masonry. And I could have verified him that way. So there, there are ways to verify that somebody is a Master Mason and talk to them outside of Lodge. But there is certainly no way to just know 100% that that guy you just saw walking is a Mason. So there you go. I think there's probably a fourth item worth mentioning, uh, just because I know I've seen this come up other places too, um, in comments of other videos. Masons like to think that we really are bettering ourselves inside and holding ourselves to a higher standard, but people can do that without being a Mason. Uh, so I would think number four would be that just because you see somebody who's really ship shape and keeping their stuff in order and seems to have really good grasp on morality and actually 
uh, holds themselves to that standard so that that person doesn't have to be a Mason. They could just be a good person all on their own, believe it or not. So there's there's no way. There, there's no way you're going to know just by seeing them. You're going to have to step through um, the modes of recognition that were taught to you in Lodge. And if nobody has taught those to you, then goodness gracious, you got to learn them. I mean, that's something that uh, we talk to people about in my lodge as soon as they're made Master Masons. Is okay, you got this nice little dues card and everything now. You got this, uh, you know, uh, uh, we we'll give them a bunch of different things that, you know, you're a Master Mason. We know that. But you go to a lodge the next state over and they don't know you from Adam. While you're working on this proficiency for your master's degree, Let's also work on learning how to be tried, uh, going through that process to let somebody else try you and verify that you are a Master Mason. So if that's something that you haven't done and you're a Master Mason, I would say stop just about any other Masonic learning that you're doing and go to whoever you trust the most in your lodge or whoever you're close to in Masonry and say, hey, I've never learned how to be tried. I've always gone to lodges I know or lodges where other people can vouch for me because they've sat with me. I've never had to be tried. How do I do that? Even if you never, ever, ever think that you will travel out of your jurisdiction, do it because you have no idea who might be traveling and run into you. And they need some help. And you need to be able to try them. And in doing so, they're going to have to try you as well. And you need to make sure that this man really is a brother, and you need to be able to show him that you really are as well. So don't let it fall to the wayside just because you don't think you're ever going to be a, a traveling man. Learn it, because it might just be something that uh, is very valuable to you in the most unexpected moment. So I hope that answers your questions. And folks, let me tell you now, I'm running kind of low on questions. Uh, if your question hasn't been answered, it's probably because you've asked a question about something that I'm not a part of, and I'm having to do an exorbitant amount of research to learn about it, like the AMD. Uh, I'm not a member of the Allied Masonic Degrees. I haven't been invited into any of those things, uh, so I don't know a thing about them. Nothing. Um, so there's a bunch of questions that just can't be answered right now. But if you have questions, by golly, I need them. Uh, so please, uh, if you're listening to this on the newly established podcast, then jump over to What is a Mason, either on Facebook or on YouTube, and leave a comment on anything. I will get the comment. I'll get notified about it. And if it pertains to the video or the post, it doesn't matter. Leave the question, and that'll help me build up my Q&A bank. So, Thank you all so much for taking the time to watch, and thanks so much for your continued support. Uh, we recently surpassed 7,000 subscribers on this channel. Uh, I'm very excited about that. Uh, i got more information to share about that at another point in time, but that would not happen uh, unless you were taking the time to watch the videos and share them in your lodges and with your brethren. So thank you for that support. We'll see you next time. Bye.